We're here at Clean Ride Detailing Studio with Matt Price, who's proven himself to be one of the most up and coming super sport riders on the WA scene. Matt's also raced at a national level and at the Perth round at the Australian Superbike Championship, finished in sixth place. Matt, how are you going? Yeah, very good, thanks. It's awesome to have you here with us, and um, we're just trying to get a bit of background on the man, the myth, the legend, as it were, because you've made a lot of people sit up and take notice. Where are you currently coming from uh, in terms of a local championship? Who are you riding with? Uh, basically riding on my own. I've managed to get my own um, sponsorship and that's enabled us to race state championships last year where I started out in the club. And um, we progressed through to Super Sport. I impressed my sponsors enough that they gave me more money this year so then I could race nationals and also state Super Sport. So it's, uh, it's been a good, good year on that. No. Now there are a lot of people that are backing you and support is very hard to come by. You're actively seeking out more support because you're wanting to go further. Um, who's currently helping you out? Dune Love Carpet Court have been with me since my second ever race meet and um, to be honest, without them, I'd, I'd probably still be in the club class to be honest. But um, no, they've came on, they've, they've given me a budget, they've supported me every round. I mean, he brings his grandson and everything to every race, in, every local race they can get to. Um, and yeah, they, they've been fantastic. Um, last year, with their support, it got me up the field far enough for uh, Mark Gill from Leading Edge Racing to take note. And um, together, we, we came up with a plan of going to nationals. And basically, since going to nationals, my, my riding's improved dramatically. I mean, I was racing state and I was enjoying it, but I was always looking for that next step. Because um, obviously I wanted to be the best, that, that's the whole reason I'm on a bike. So yeah, to go to um, nationals was the best I could do with the, the budget we had. And um, yeah, he came along and he's, he's taught me everything at every round along the way. And it's, we've just been leaping forward, even though we've had a fair share of falls. But um, he told me at the beginning of the year, do you want to be fast or do you want uh, results? And I said, I want to be fast. He said, all right, be prepared to fall. So. Been, it's been a good year. 2017 is fast approaching us. We're already very late in the year. Where are you looking at ending up uh, next year? This um, is a pretty exciting time for us because next week we're flying to Italy in Mugello to test with the King Race Team. I'll be on board a ZX6, um, was owned by Pacetti Racing. So it was Ken and Safoglu's bike from last year. That's just to get familiar with the track and then I'll be jumping on board a super stock bike ZX10 prepared by the um, King Racing team. So it's compared to what we know here, how I've been racing, it's pretty much a factory bike with the support of the engineers and everything in the background. It's, it's going to be a real eye opener, that's for sure. It's an incredible opportunity. Do you, do you think you're ready for it? If you'd have asked me this probably three or four months ago, I'd, I'd probably say no, no I'm not. But, um, with my fitness and what I've done in preparation leading up to it. I mean, I, I raced the last round on the Superbike for the first time. It, was, it was, wasn't an amazing Superbike, but it was a Superbike and got me on the grid and we're 23rd to 7th. So we've shown that we had the pace, so who knows what the future brings basically. Riding on the road, riding on the track, speed's completely different, but we can look at the level that you've been riding at this year Hopefully compare it to the level you're going to be riding at next year. What sort of speed differential are we talking? Oh, it's going to be pretty huge. Um, this year I raced nationals in Supersport, which was 600s. And the, hopefully next year, if the testing goes well over in Italy with King Race Team, it will be a latest model 2016 ZX10. So the, the speed difference at the top end will probably be about 20, 30, 30 mile, uh, kilometers an hour but it's the delivery of that power that's so different. The torque of a superbike, the weight of a superbike, it's, it's very different in how it delivers its uh, top speed as opposed to a super sport bike. You're yeah. saying that you've, you've had falls in the past, you've gotten up and by virtue of your racing results over the last year, you've impressed a heck of a lot of people. Um, are you prepared to possibly take a fall in the pursuit of results? Oh yeah, it, the, the day I'm not prepared to fall to get what I want to do, it, it'll probably be the day I'm, I'm going to stop racing because if you go out onto the grid with even a murmur of a hesitant, you, you're not going to be in the top 10. It's, it's pretty brutal. And yeah, for me, if, if I go onto the grid hesitant, 
that, that'll probably be the day that I'm going to start racing. Yeah. Getting to a more personal side, why do you want to pursue this? Why do you want to race motorcycles? Oh, I've, I've always wanted it from a kid, to be honest, and um, due to financial commitments and everything else as a kid, it was never an option for me. So being able to be in the position to fund it myself and then create a team environment where we could take it further, it, the whole thing's just kind of snowballed really quickly and to be honest, I just want to see how far it will go because my passion for bikes has always been there from the age of four or even less so yeah I've, I've grew up watching World Super Bikes and GP from before I could run properly so yeah the, the passion is pretty deep.